It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the River Hogs and the Golden Eagles, and it comes your way next. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the River Hogs of Louisville and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts. And a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows at the NFL. Set to go, Young Way Koo ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Mexico City. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out, a man who has led his team to the conference championship game the last two seasons, winning it two years ago. Here's Joe Burrow. Hey, we all love a good story, and what we like even more, guys who can fight through adversity. Joe Burrow coming out of high school, goes to Ohio State, doesn't get a chance to start, transfers to LSU, not thought to be a top prospect, ends up the number one pick in the draft, and justifies it. Tremendous play, excellent mobility, and leadership off the charts. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of seven, brings up second and three at the 39-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six, first down, River Hall. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Down to the 41. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback and makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 13 yards. First down, River Hall. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked by Jeff Akuda. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of him. And they'll be led out by a much-discussed third-rounder in last year's draft, the second-year pro out of Cincinnati, Desmond Ritter. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. 
proven leader. Teams went 43 and 6 while he was in college. Has speed, dual threat ability, and the production off the charts while he was in school. And also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Ritter backed up at his end zone. Short throw caught by Pitts. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Ritter from the gun on third down. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Jones on the return. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. Running left, it's Mixon. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play call, and usually between run and pass. In this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. First catch so far by Chase. It's a first down. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Here's a second and five. Now it's Burrow. And that's off the mark, incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now Burrow. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. McPherson's kick is good, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. From the 24 now, here's second and three. At the 24 yard line. Robinson up the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Here now, third and a yard. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs make Ritter cannot escape, and they bring him down. There's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Ritter now on second down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. 
Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Tyler Boyd, touchdown! Tyler Boyd, 26 yards. And the River Hogs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Evan McPherson for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 11 yards there, first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and eight. Robinson with another carry. Shifts past him at the 45. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. On to the second quarter, Mexico City in possession. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Handing it off, right side, Algier. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking, so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Ineligible receiver downfield, offense. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Ritter with it after the play fake. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Keith Smith, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Golden Eagles are back within a score. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Following the touchdown, here's Ku to kick off. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. A first down. The tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From the 38 now, here's second down and five. Mixing up the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And in that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Burrow. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Burrow will throw. Throw right side, put in by Higgins. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down, here's Burrow. The pass to Boyd, and he brings it in on the crossing route. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Third 
They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Out to the left. He's got Sample there. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 22-yard line. Back to throw here. Wide open receiver complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And they give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. And they go play action now. Burrow. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tanner Hudson there to make the grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive spans 13 plays. After the and touchdown, McPherson, McPherson on to kick this one away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On second down, Ritter. Short throw caught by Pitts. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now it's third and four. It's a game of seven. Makes it third and four. Here's Ritter. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Call that a gain of 11. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now to this point. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Ritter off to play fake. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. Short throw caught by Pitts. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. It's a pick up of six. Brings up second and four at the 39-yard line. 
Ritter now. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's another Mexico City first down. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they have a first down and well into field goal range also at the 16 now. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Complete. Smith has it. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Now Ritter. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Breaks through the contact. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one. And then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, still a lot to keep an eye on. Guys battling, trying to make a ball club. We'll send it back to two guys Fielding already just on outside our the goal team. Line. That's Brandon Godden and, and Charles Davis. This to the 22. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10. Brings up second and 10 at the 22-yard line. Heineke now. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Jay Tufele gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. They need 18 yards here on third down. Heineke to throw it. 
complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's Algier again on second down. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first and ten, it's Algier. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Miles Murphy, he's the one who got in there and hit him for a loss. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. On second, here's Algier. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. Looking to throw, Heineke. Dumps this one off to Algier. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackle. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they gotta rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. And the Louisville offense back out now. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul. But the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead. And now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. To throw Browning. Got a man and he hits him in stride. First target, first catch, and a first down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Over the middle complete, it's Hudson. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and three. Now Browning. And his throw is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. They 
run with a rookie. It's Chase Brown. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This will be fielded at the 17. It'll be a net of 39. 41-yard punt, two on the return. Well, now this offense comes back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with the kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On second down, a run with Patterson. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. Miles Murphy in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Browning. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They go play action here on first down. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football in the places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. To throw again on second down. Browning, that quick throw there is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Man open here is Jones. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one. And this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Evans running behind center. And room there to work it inside the 25. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Looking to throw. Browning. In trouble, and he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, 
but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. So they bring out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second down, Heineke. Under pressure and down he goes. Miles Murphy, his second sack of the night. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now. Showing a little bit of everything, they have no way of stopping him. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. On the return is Williams. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Well, the Louisville offense back out now. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Now a second and two. Back now in Mexico City. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And a huge play that time. 53 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. A gain of eight brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. Brown is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Off play action. Browning under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Call it a loss of eight there, and it's going to lead to a fourth down. Fourth and goal. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This will get the lead up to seven. McPherson's kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now a carry for Algier, headed right. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. The offense on third down tonight, they're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 11. Now Heineke. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A first down throw for Heineke. Pressure comes and down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Throwing. Heineke. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. On play action, Heineke. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They'll go. It's Patterson powering through at the 35. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. To throw is Heineke. This one brought in by Jefferson. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Third down and 10. Off the play fake, Heineke. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Miles Murphy bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three, but I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, 
hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. And the Louisville offense back out now. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. From the 31, here's second and five. At the 31 yard line. This is Brown on the draw play. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground. First and ten. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. They get to get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. From the gun, a give to Brown. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. Heineke throw taken in by Miller. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Second and seven. It's a pick up of three. Brings up second and seven. Here's Heineke. Short throw to Smith. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Algier will try to pick it up. That'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Heineke to throw for it on fourth down. Slant route to Miller. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Now first and goal. He's back to throw. 
Thrown toward the sideline, and Jefferson's got it. And he is out of bounds here. Now second down and a few inches. Brings up second and goal. Back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Fourth down, Heineke. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final battle of the four. Wow. Wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win. But they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down 23-20, 23 seconds to go. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. They'll try again here, second and ten. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. To throw, Browning. Throwing left side right there. But it's incomplete. Fourth down now defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And they will take a knee here. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Charles, we were treated to an excellent game today, kept off by that second half comeback. This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us, not so much to the team who led at halftime, and now is leaving here, knowing that they let a win slip through their fingers. Tough one for them to carry home. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night, everybody.